Okay, this section of radar, which is over uh, Michigan, uh, north of Cleveland, looks like it's partly in Canada. I wanted to put this uh, part together because um, as I toggled through, and this is from IntelliCast, and I watched this section of heavy rain, and uh, obviously there's heavy rain all through here, but as I toggle through the frames, watch how this changes. It actually dissipates. And my question is, does it dissipate? Notice a, a round signature here. Does it dissipate because of weather modification? Was there something aimed at it to help break it up? See, again, see, you see more round shapes. And yes, I know radar creates round shapes. However, I'm talking about the particular precipitation within this cell. As you see, it dissipates quite a bit. When we let it play through, you can see one more time how that cell there just uh, fades up. Now, it hasn't gone over water yet, and it's obvious when the precipitation goes over water, you see some gaps. Uh, there's the edge of the lake right there. So you do see some changes there. Um, to me it's just an odd looking radar signature in terms of how the rain is falling in heavy bands, not so heavy bands, uh, and how it's changing. Um, it's, it's very interesting. Especially for me, since it looks like maybe this won't come my way. Uh, again, I'm going to point out just a couple more of the specific signatures you can see in here. I mentioned what was over here. And if you look in this area here, you'll see uh, some interesting features. Donut hole. You see some parallel edges of a circle. And after that happens, the rain intensity decreases. And this is I just think an odd shape for uh, rain to be occurring. But there is some topography underneath that may be affecting that. Um, this is updated radar at about 3.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Um, kind of following what's been happening with the weather. And I have posted a video, I don't know, around 11.30 this morning, mentioning the uh, lines out of St. Louis, which are still there at this hour. I'll let it play so you can see that it is still there. Still going on right here out of St. Louis. And uh, the line of storms that goes on is, is incredibly uh, parallel line to this beam. And then if I travel up here, um, I had already uh, uh, talked about this a little bit, or I will be talking about it, depending on how I patch these videos together. <laughs> but I wanted to mention that earlier when I recorded it, I thought for sure, you know, hey, Massachusetts, we're going to get hit with rain. Um, looked at the radar at noon, and the telecast actually showed precipitation in Pittsfield, which is in uh, this part of the state. And now it's like, okay, hey, what's it? Where's the rain? It um, granted my wish. I asked earlier that, you know, hey, if you're going to modify the weather, make it so Massachusetts doesn't get any more. We don't need it. <laughs> I guess somebody listened to me, which uh, I just think is pretty amusing. So I'm going to zoom back out because I do want to stop. I do want to show uh, just an interesting fact. This is just a fact of the. Uh, interesting lines that these, these storms are making all in parallel with this particular beam out of here and yes I do understand the jet stream causes the airflow to go a certain way and that very well could mark the uh, edge of the jet stream I don't know but it's interesting anyway and I'm glad that uh, hey Massachusetts is being spared the rain today thanks for whoever's doing that uh, just I'm going to zoom in one more time because I want to show 
what I think is an interesting signature here. All right, when the loop starts, we get a lot of rain up here. And then it gets quiet. What happened? Is there something going on right in here that dissipated the rain? I don't know. I'm glad for it, though.